Well, Polaroids are probably not as popular as they used to be, but we still like to digitalize them in Photoshop. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your one photo and scatter it around a wall or a desk with a bunch of Polaroids. I really didn't understand what I said myself. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to come over here to the Rectangular Marquee Tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle, so I want my style to be a fixed uh, ratio actually maybe size and I'm gonna set the width at uh, 400 and the height at 480 and I'm going to click just click I guess what what is this what is this doing okay Houston oh it's inches not pixels Ooh. whoa whoa ho. okay pixels we want it to be in pixels sorry px okay I guess put it okay so 400 by 480 pixels and there you go nice and small we can zoom in here and what I want to do is fill it in with white white as foreground color paint bucket tool behind the gradient tool in case you don't know click and now it's white and we have this in our new layer so I guess I can rename this layer to Polaroid BG now I'm gonna add some effects to this so I'll I guess select deselect because I don't really need it selected anymore. Double click on this to add some layer styles and I'm actually going to maybe drag this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to drop shadow and I'm going to set the opacity to a lower 30, maybe 38, 35 percent. You know, just play around. Angle at 125, 0, maybe this bring it up a little bit, 24 and that looks okay right now let's also add an inner shadow and I'm gonna set it to opacity around 20, 20 ishes 25, 20 ishes, is that even a word? no probably not, okay um, bring this all the way down bring this up, I don't know somewhere around there so you can see it kinda of adds a cool looking glow in there, click OK okay so now I'm gonna add the black part of the Polaroid now I'm gonna come over here to the rectangle tool, select the black as foreground color and just kind of you know draw out a rectangle whatever you think is a good size for a Polaroid photo you can get more detailed and precise if you want okay so now I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm going to drag these two layers that I just created into that folder and I'm gonna rename this folder to I guess Polaroid 1 and I'm gonna move it around you know maybe do a little control or command T rotate it around and um and then you could just repeat this, duplicate this layer, click and drag it down to the new layer icon. And you don't have to rename it unless you're really neat and organized. But I'm not. So just try to, you know, bring them around. Add, add as many as you want. And try not to resize them because, you know, Polaroids are all the same size. I don't think they come in different sizes. So, Control T. Just imagine how it'll be if uh, you had a, a big bag of Polaroid photos and you just drop it on the table. Just kind of, you know, imagine how that's going to look. So, I guess that's enough Polaroids for now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a photo. And here I have a lucky photo of my dog. So, I'm going to click and drag this into our new document. And it's a pretty big photo. So, I'm going to actually hit Control T and size it down a little bit. You know, size it down to, you know, this probably the size of your uh, work area where the Polaroids are. I'm going to hide this layer just so it's not in the way right now. <laughs> He's getting in the way. So now what we need to do is we need to select all the black area of the photos because we just took, um, I guess, how many? Seven? Yeah. Six, seven, eight, eight. I guess we have eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have eight photos here and we just took them like real quick. So they're still developing because, you know, you pull it out, it's still black. So they're still developing and now we need to develop them ourselves. So I'm going to go to select color range and I'm going to choose the black color here set the fuzziness to zero select the black area set fuzziness to zero and this will create a mat and uh, select all the black on the canvas so I'm press ok now I'm going to click on my photo layer I'm going to show it and you can see all those selections are there so now what I'm going to do is hit control or command shift I to invert the selection and press delete on my keyboard and then Control or Command D to deselect, and there you have eight Polaroid shots of your photo just laying there. Okay, pretty cool effect. Thought it was cool. And you know, if you want, if you want to do a little optional thing, 
You can always um, click and select the first group and uh, select them all by holding shift, clicking the last group, and then holding, uh, hitting control T, controller command T, right clicking. We want to change the perspective and bring this out. And it kind of creates a little 3D looking effect. I guess, I guess it does. You probably could have selected the table as well. And you know, it kind of looks like their photos are taken from an angle. And they're just laying there. So there you go. Create some cool looking Polaroid shots scattered across a table and put your photo in it using Photoshop. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.